All right, guys, so I recently entered in the SLAM program offered by Stanford Lures. Um, I'll show you how you can do that, but I just recently got some new lures from them. So I'm just going to do a quick unboxing, and then later I'll have some footage of me um, using the baits on the water. So let's just get to the unboxing now. So pretty much they'll send you, if you have a YouTube channel or some social media site or your own website where you can promote them they'll send you free lures two free lures to start out and then if you you know make videos and you promote them well then they'll let you have more stuff just look it up slam from stanford lures um it's a nice little note and um so the first lure i got is a medium razor shad i'm going to use this for the smallmouth. um in the spring that looks super super skinny which will be nice looks like a nice really nice paint job on that um, that color looks great for the Wisconsin River good quality hooks good eyes it's made out of cedar wood um, just a high quality bait um, these baits are um, worth I think they're worth I know they're worth over 15 on Tackle Warehouse, but they're really, really good lures. And then this is the Patriot Shad, which is their own version of the Square Bill. Um, this looks amazing. Looks way better than the Lucky Crafts or any other Square Bill I've seen. Um, I think this is, yep, the Tennessee Shad color. So I'm going to use this for smallmouth in the spring too. Also, might use it for some largemouth too. Um, so, yep. Those are the lures I got. I think I got some cards in there too. So, it's gonna next footage will be me using it on the water. So, yep. All right, guys. Um, I'm at my aunt's house right now in Chicago, um, Illinois. So I went to a Bass Pro Shops. My first real Bass Pro Shops in Bolingbrook. I think I got a penny from it says bowling brook on there sorry it's not focused but i just picked up a few things there i got to see like a 10 pound bass in the aquarium which is pretty cool but um seen some really cool nitro boats there um but yeah i was there for about i think two hours but i'll just show you what i got here um first i got a bass pro shop shirt i can show that to you right there bass pro shop shirt and then a little visor. I don't remember where I put the visor, but it just says Bass Pro on it. So I got these easy skirts, and uh, this is the sexy shad color. Got a lot of chatterbait stuff because I've been catching a lot of fish on chatterbaits lately. This is the bluegill skirt. Been trying to go to some ponds around here, but they're all disgusting and green. I don't know if that's how it usually is in Illinois, but. They're all gross looking. I'm in Lombard, which is a suburb west of Chicago. Probably going to go to the Fox River tomorrow and see if I can catch some bass in there. But this is just a um, bass jig right here. It was only a dollar. And it's, if you can see that, it's just kind of blue with orange and then the rest is brown. You use that as a swim jig. It's got a little head on there with eyes on it. Use that as a swim jig. Then I got a, what is this, chartreuse, chartreuse sexy shad color. This one has a golden blade, and I just got one with the golden blade and one with the normal, and then I'm just going to change out the skirts depending on the water color. Just got a nice trailer on there. I bought the trailers too, I'll show you the trailers. Heard a lot of great things about the Rage Tail Menace. Um, this is just a bluegill color. It's like smoke with um, gold, black, and blue sparkles in there. These are great trailers. They make good, really great um, Texas rig baits and whatnot. And I got some super salty, super flukes in the blue pearl hologram color. These are really good. Been catching bass on the jerk baits too, so. And I got another chatterbait in here. Been using the Rage Tail Menaces as trail or trailers for it. This one's just a what is this? A white, 
with like a little silver glimmer in there. And then I got some more stuff in here. Oh, I got this really cool square bill. It's on sale for only four bucks. It's this really nice bluegill color. Looks super realistic. So it's the 1.5. Um, just some trailers that came with the chatterbait that are sticking to the paper. Easy trailers. Stretchy kind. Then I got one is my dad's, a watermelon red swim jig. Another watermelon red one. So, yep, that's pretty much all I got. Uh, I'm going to go fishing tomorrow, so if I have a video up of me fishing in Illinois, just be sure to watch that. But, yep, having a lot of fun down there, so. Alright, guys. Um, yesterday I went to Bass Pro Shops. Today I went to Dick's Sporting Goods. So I got a few um, a few more lures and stuff, mostly power fishing lures, um, a few finesse stuff, but here's that visor I said I bought yesterday, Bass Pro Shops. Looks pretty cool. Probably won't mount a hat cam on it, just probably wear this for fun. It looks pretty sweet. Got to look at all the Nitro Z9 boats yesterday and the Z8s and all those, and they looked amazing. Can't wait to get one of those once I'm like 25 or 26. So, but anyways, here's a Booya. It's a Dick's exclusive. It's just like um, gold blades with um, gold, just a gold skirt and a gold head. Looks pretty sweet. Should be pretty good for the lakes up um, up by me. It's five sixteenth ounce. It's not very big. Then I just got this for the Wisconsin River, um, a bandit, or bandit, I don't know what it's called, um, 200 series in the Mossy Craw, looks pretty cool, um, I'll save that for later. Then I got another chatterbait, um, really love using these chatterbaits, this one was on sale for like two and a half bucks, it's just white and yellow little black sparkles Let's see what it's called sexy swimmer and then there was a bunch of little worms that were just laying um, by the checkout counters on the floor and guy said that I could just take them I think they're they look like power bait worms there was three of them just laying on the floor um, they were like watermelon red colored power bait worms. And actually it was funny because um, I actually just bought some VMC shaky heads and then I found those shaky head worms just on the counter by the checkout. So it was pretty, pretty cool. VMC shaky head um, jigs. These are pretty awesome. I'll get one out and show you. So these VMC shaky heads have a 60 degree eyelet right there it's pointed just like that then they got a super sharp hook and a little keeper there for your worm so when you get a worm on I'll actually just rig one up here really quick so this is how you rig it you're gonna stick your hook in about half an inch Pull it out, turn the worm, flat side, um, point it against the jig like that. Push it all the way up and that keeper will keep it on there. And then figure out where it needs to go through. Put your finger there. Bend the worm up. Don't come out of the worm, just barely. Once you can see that point is out, then put it back in. And now it's completely weedless. And this thing will shake and quiver like um, crazy. And then I got some crappie magnet lures. These um, I'm going to do some crappie fishing in my next video. They just got two split tails. And then some little chartreuse jigs for the grubs I got. 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, probably going to